So you want to do file I.O. Well, I do too. Let's do it together. But let's first be clear about acronyms. What is file I.O.? Nothing more than file input and output. In other words, just reading to and writing from files. Pretty simple. Before we see how to do it in LabVIEW, let's look at types of files. A plain text file, which is typically just an ASCII character file. Spreadsheet files, which are typically plain text, but the data fields are delimited by tabs or commas. And binary files, which are arbitrary files typically not human readable. In other words, if you opened up the file in something like Notepad, it would be indecipherable. But these files are good if you have a proprietary format or lots of data or data coming in fast. For our purposes, we'll focus on plain text files. So let's open LabVIEW and see how to do it. I'll just open up a new VI and tile these left to right, Control T. Let's say I'm going to write a simple file in LabVIEW. So I'll head to my block diagram, right click to bring up my functions palette and head to my file IO palette. Now there are some higher level VIs at the top that encompass a lot of functions, but we'll go down to these functions, which give us more control over how to read and write in LabVIEW. I'll tack this palette down and first pull up the open create replace file. The name gives you a pretty good indication of what it does and control H or my context help will give me more information. I see these little stubs here, which are optional inputs, but I typically like to show those. So I'll click the show optional terminals and full path. Much better. So the first thing I'll do to write to the file is to make a file path. I'll right click and I'm going to create a control on the front panel. I'll go yank this into view, expand it a bit, and click on the Browse button. Now, if I'm going to be creating a new file, then I may want to call it new file.txt, just a text file. OK. But Windows says, wait a minute, the file's not found. So what do I need to do? Well, first off, let's right click on this button and go to Browse Options. And in selection mode, I want to not only choose an existing file, but a new file as well. So new or existing. OK. Let's try that again. And call it new file.txt. OK. Now coming back to my open create replace file, I see that the operation right now for default is open, which means to open an existing file. Since I don't have a file, I'll need to change that. So I'll right, whoops. So I'll right click and create a constant off of it and change it to open or create since it doesn't exist. Clean up that wire and access being read and write is okay. Now coming out from this open create replace file function will be the ref num. This is my file handle so that all subsequent functions know which file they're manipulating. So our next function in our chain will be the write to text file. And we'll connect up the ref num across the top. And as we can see, we have a text input. In fact, that's the only bolded or required input to this function. So I'll just create a control off of this. and expand it a bit. And we'll just write in here something completely arbitrary, like, I don't know, VI High has recently been named as one of NI News Top 5 LabVIEW blogs. Thanks. I don't know, just came to me. So that's what we'll write. And since we've opened the file, written to the file, then it's appropriate now to close that file reference. So going back to my file IO palette, I'll grab the close file and just take that file ref num and wire it in. And to keep it dead simple, we'll go ahead and run it here. But before we do, let's glance at that folder where we're writing the file and see that there's no magic behind my back 
there's nothing in the folder before I run the VI. So I run it. Now let's take a look at that folder. There it is, new file.txt, and I open it up and VI High has recently been named as one of NI News top five Labby blogs. Thanks. Well, that's good news. I'll go ahead and close it. As I said, dead simple. Now there's a lot more we can do here, like learning how to stream to file and appending more text to the same file. And seasoned Labby users will see we didn't even use the error cluster. But we'll talk about those things, don't worry, in the next episodes. We'll be back next time. Thanks.